what's up? It's your Rachel back with another video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys my eyeshadow palette collection. So I don't have any updates in this video. I'm just going to go ahead and get started because this is most likely going to be a long video. But if you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you guys so much for being here. If you'd like, you can go ahead and hit that subscribe button and you can also hit that bell to be notified every time I upload a video. But other than that, I'm going to go ahead and get started with my eyeshadow palette. So the first palette I'm going to mention is the new Amrisi palette with Anastasia. I just done a video on this. It's my previous video, so this is what it looks like on the inside. It's really pretty, but I definitely had a lot to say about this palette, so definitely go check that out. Again, it is my previous video. Really pretty packaging, though. I will say that. The next palette I have here is from Violet Voss, and this is the Flamingo palette. I don't want to blind you guys. You can see the mirror over there, but this is what the colors look like. They're really, really pretty. I haven't got a lot of use out of this palette, but I feel like when the summer rolls around, I will definitely pull this out. You have a lot of pretty colors in here. Really nice pops. Really pretty for the summer. The next palette I have here is from Tati Beauty, and this is her Textured Neutrals palette. I just talked about this in my previous video as well when I was talking about the Anastasia palette with Amrizi. Absolutely gorgeous. This is definitely one of my favorites. It has a really nice mirror in there as well, and you can tell I've definitely been using it. I have so many eyeshadow palettes, and I have been constantly reaching for this one, so that's really saying a lot. This is definitely my go-to here at the moment. I love it. The formula is absolutely amazing, and if you haven't checked this out, I highly recommend it. The next palette I have here is from Morphe, and this is their older packaging, but this is the 3502, and this is what it looks like. I'm trying to hold it steady for you guys, but it's really warm toned, and if you guys are into warm tones, I feel like you'd really like this palette. I don't get a lot of use out of it, just because I feel like I have formulas that are much better than this, but I really do like the color story in this palette, and again, if you're into warm tones, I don't feel like you'd be disappointed. Really, really pretty, and especially for the summer. The next palette I have here is from Kat Von D, and this is the Mi Vida Loca palette. I know a lot of people are not into Kat Von D, and I know that she has sold her brand, but I will never get rid of this palette. I personally love Kat Von D. I love her cosmetics, and I feel like it was a shame that she had to go like sell her brand, but this is what the outer packaging looks like. And I'm sure that you have probably seen this before. A lot of people used to go crazy over this palette and trying to get their hands on it. But this is what it looks like. It's absolutely gorgeous. And I actually have got a lot of use out of this palette. And this is one of my favorites from Kat Von D. The next palette I have here is from Morphe. And this is the Jaclyn Hill palette. This is the first palette that she released with Morphe. Absolutely stunning. This is what mine looks like. I have got so much use out of this palette. It's definitely one of my favorites. And I can't say enough good things about it. This is definitely a classic to have in your collection. And I have just got so much use out of it. Again, one of my favorites. And this personally to me is the better formula from Morphe. Morphe. The next palette I have here is from Morphe, and this is the Jeffree Star collab. So this is what it looks like on the inside. It's really, really pretty. I haven't used this a whole lot, but I will say the times that I have used it, I haven't been that impressed with it. I feel like the quality is just not really there for me. The quality in the Jaclyn Hill palette is so much better than this, but it is really pretty nonetheless. The next palette I have here is from Urban Decay, and this is the Alistair the Looking Glass. So I don't want to annoy you guys with the packaging, but when you open this up and you open the little flaps, it does have like the little butterfly going on. I will show you guys. And then when you close it, you open it up like a drawer and then you pull out all of your eyeshadows. So this is what you have going on. I will say that the quality on this was not impressive whatsoever to me personally, but this is a collector's piece. It's really, really pretty. And if the quality of the eyeshadows were as good as the packaging, this palette would have been really, really nice. The next palette I have here is from Rock, and this is the Pirates of the Caribbean palette. Really, really pretty. I will go ahead and open this up. I have talked about this before here on my channel. I actually really do love the shadows in here. They're really cool toned. Nowadays, people are really wanting cool toned eyeshadows, but these are really, really pretty, and I've got some really pretty looks out of this. So, again, this is definitely a very good palette, in my opinion. The next palette I have here is the Beauty and the Beast palette from Rock. So, I'm trying to hold my hand so it doesn't shake, but this is what the packaging looks like. I remember I picked this up from Ulta a long time ago, I feel like. So this is what the colors look like. I'm trying not to blind you guys, but these are really, really basic colors. It actually is not showing that true to camera, I don't feel like. I feel like it looks better in person, but this is what this one looks like. 
And I know a lot of people have been finding this at like, I can't remember if it was Nordstrom or TJ Maxx or Marshalls, but you can find this palette still if you are wanting it or trying to find it. The next palette I have here is from Urban Decay, and this is the Game of Thrones palette. I'm sure a lot of you guys have already seen this, but I will open it up really fast so you guys can get a quick look. So it pulls out like this, and this is what the colors look like. Really, really pretty, and the quality was really, really nice on this palette as well. I didn't really have anything negative to say about this palette. The next palette I have here is from Anasazia, and this is the Modern Renaissance palette. I love this palette. I've got so much use out of it. It's just a staple, and the formula is absolutely amazing. This is definitely one of my favorite palettes from Anastasia. The next palette from Anastasia I have is the Subculture palette. I had mixed feelings about this, but overall, I really do love the color story. Very, very pretty, and I just don't really grab for it that much just because the formula is really difficult for me to use, but really, really pretty colors. The next palette I have here is the Prism palette from Anastasia, and this is what the palette looks like on the inside. I don't really grab for this one that much, but the colors are really pretty. Something about it, though, when I use it, all the colors really turn up muddy on my eyes, but the color story is pretty nonetheless. And if you are curious, you can get this at Marshalls or TJ Maxx at a discounted price. The next palette I have here is from Anastasia, and this is the Alyssa Edwards palette. This palette is really, really pretty, but I will say that the formula on this is a lot drier than her other palettes, but the colors are absolutely stunning, and this is a really, really bold palette, so if you're into bold colors, I feel like you'd really like this. And this palette you could find at TJ Maxx and Marshalls at a discounted price as well. I know you guys can see my phone through it, but the next palette I have here is from Urban Decay, and this is the Heavy Metals palette. I've got so much use out of this palette, and I absolutely love it. I love to pair it with the Jaclyn Hill palette, so I will open this up so you guys can get a look at it. It slides out, and they're all metallic shades. I'm having a hard time holding it up because I don't want to blind you guys, but you have a row that's all neutrals, and then you have a row that's all colorful shades. And again, these all are like pretty metallic shades. The next palette I have here is from P. Louise. And this palette is called the Secret Center, and this is a palette full of colorful mattes, and it's absolutely stunning. I will go ahead and open it up and give you guys a look. So this is what it looks like. It's absolutely stunning. Really, really pretty mattes, and these do blend out really nice. This is a really nice formula, and I love the bright, bold shades. I hope it's showing true to camera because these are really, really bold, and I don't think that it is. The next palette I have here is an older Anastasia palette, and this is the World Traveler. It's like the Couture palette or something. Shadow Couture palette. This is what it looks like. Again, this is the older packaging. This is an older palette. And then when you open it up, this is what you have going on. As you can see, I got a lot of use out of this, especially this shade called Pink Champagne. That's definitely one of my favorites. Really, really pretty. And at the time, I got so much use out of this palette. The next palette I have here is the Ho Vault from Morphe and Jaclyn Hill. I don't know if you guys want to see this or not, but I will just give you guys like a quick little glance. So here is this one. This one has all the blues and greens. This one is really pretty. This has all the purpley shades. This one has a bunch of warm tones. And this one's really pretty as well. This one, I can say, I probably got the most use out of. And I personally love the formula on these palettes. The next palette I have here is from Urban Decay, and this is the Naked Cherry palette. This is one of the newer Urban Decay palettes, and I really do enjoy the formula and the colors in this palette. The next palette I have here is from Stila, and this is the Happy Hour palette. And these are really, really pretty, especially if you love, like, cool tone shades. And there's a better look at it if you guys were curious. And then the other Stila palette that I have is called After Hours, and these palettes are pretty heavy. And this one is more warm tone, really, really pretty, and this looks like a really pretty fall palette. The next palette I have here is from La Rock, and this is the Mega Pro 2 palette. I don't really like this palette. They all met up together. This is what it looks like. I just wasn't impressed. I'm not too crazy over the Pro formula from La Rock. I did get some use out of it, but I'm just not a fan of the shades. I feel like they all met up together, and the formula is just not for me. The next palette I have is the La Rock Mega Pro 4 palette. Again, the same reason. I'm not a fan of this formula. The colors are all made up together. So this is what the palette looks like. And if I can remember, I'm pretty sure that this palette ended up going on sale as well. The next palette I have here is from Makeup Forever. And this is an older holiday palette. So I will go ahead and open this up for you guys. And this is what you have going on. I did get some use out of this, but I don't really grab for this palette anymore. The next palette I have here is from Violet Boss, and this is with Nicole Concilio. She's also a YouTuber. This is a really pretty palette, but I don't think that I have ever really like reached for this palette, but it's really, really pretty. I'll go ahead and give you guys a glance. 
I hope it's showing true to color. The next palette I have here is another Violet Voss palette, and this is the Hashtag Pro palette. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called, but this is what it looks like. This is probably one of my favorites from Violet Voss. This is what it looks like on the inside. It just has a lot of purples and oranges and golds and that black in the corner and just your basic neutrals that you need. I love the tones that they picked in this palette, especially the top row to pair with all those metallic shades. Really, really pretty, and again, I really do enjoy the formula from Violet Voss. The next palette I have here is from Tarte, and this is the Adeline Warren palette. So, I hope I'm saying her name right. I do watch her videos, but this is what it looks like. It's really, really pretty. I have talked about this before here on my channel. This is one of the most pigmented warm tone palettes that you will ever buy. It's really, really pretty, and if you're into strong pigmented warm tone shadows, you will not be disappointed. And this is what it looks like on the inside. I hope you guys can just see. I don't think you're being able to see like how like pigmented and how intense these shadows are, but it's really, really pretty, and the blush and highlight is really pretty as well. The next palette I have here is from Tarte, and this is the Aspen Ovard collab. So this is what the packaging looks like. This probably has to be the prettiest packaging that I've ever seen on a palette. I'm sorry that it's blinding you guys, but this is what it looks like on the inside. Just really pretty neutrals, a really pretty blush and highlight. Just a really pretty palette overall. The next palette I have here is from Fenty, and this is the Galaxy palette. I'm not sure if they still sell this anymore, but this was the first palette that she released. And I paid full price for this palette. This was pricey. It was like $60. This is what it looks like on the inside. Absolutely stunning. And these are really pretty toppers. The next palette I have is also from Fenty. And this is called the Moroccan Spice Palette. I saw recently that they are going to be putting this in BoxyCharm boxes. So really, really pretty. I will say that the colors look gorgeous, but the formula just wasn't there. And I can understand why they're putting it in the boxes. Also, this palette has been on sale forever. And I feel like they're just trying to get rid of them, hence why they're putting them in BoxyCharm. But the packaging is really, really pretty. It's the same style as the Galaxy palette. And this is what it looks like. If you guys are interested, I would definitely sign up for BoxyCharm so you can get this palette. At one time, it did retail for $60. I paid the full price for it. But it was on sale. I'm not sure if it's still on Sephora or not. The next palette I have here is from Too Faced, and this is the Stardust palette with Vegas Nay. And this is what the inside looks. It's really, really pretty. It has pretty neutrals in it, and the formula was really nice on this palette as well. This is an older palette from Too Faced. The next palette I have here is also from Too Faced, and this is the Power of Makeup. This was with Nikki Tutorials. I know the whole drama deal with that, but I actually had a really good experience with this palette, and I've used a lot of it, so you will see when I open it up for you guys, I have hit pan. So this is what it looks like. I got so much use out of this palette, and I didn't really have any issues. It worked out really well for me. Just a really, really pretty palette, and this is like, this goes down in history, I feel like, so I will always keep this palette. The next palette I have here is from Violet Voss, and this is the, like, a boss palette. I actually picked this up in New York with my husband. So this is what it looks like. It's really, really pretty and I haven't got a ton of use out of this palette, but when I have used it, I really have enjoyed the looks that I have created. Really, really nice and I'm just a big fan of Violet Boss overall. The next palette I have here is from Lunar Beauty and this is the Moonspell palette. I talked so highly of this palette. The formula is absolutely amazing and the colors are so bright and bold. Really, really beautiful palette and this is the only palette that I have from Mani MUA, but this definitely makes me want to try more because I'm so impressed with the formula and the colors really really pretty and this made me have so much respect for him as a person so this is what the colors look like absolutely stunning it doesn't even look like i've used it but i have used it i have used it and i have also talked about it here on my channel plenty the next palette i have here is from huda beauty and this is the new nude palette i've talked so much about this here on my channel this is definitely one of my favorites i love the formula on this the mattes are really really nice they blend out really nice and the metallic shimmer shades are really pretty as well i've just got along so well with this palette and I have definitely put this in my favorites videos. Really, really pretty. I will go ahead and open it up for you guys. So this is what it looks like. Really, really pretty. Again, just definitely one of my favorites. I hope it's showing true to color. The next palette I have here is the James Charles palette with Morphe. I'm not even going to take this out of the box because you guys already know and have seen this palette, but this is absolutely stunning. I have a tutorial here on my channel with this, but really, really pretty, and I absolutely love the formula. This is definitely one of my favorites. The next palette that I have here is from Natasha Denona, and this is the Sunrise palette. I'm trying not to blind you guys because I know a lot of these you can see through, but this is what it looks like. Absolutely stunning, and I really do enjoy this palette. I have a very strong love for Natasha Denona shadows. Some of my favorites. Really, really pretty.
The next palette I have here is from Urban Decay, and this is the Naked Beach palette. This is definitely one of my favorites. I've got so much use out of this. One of the best formulas, I feel like, from Urban Decay. So this is what it looks like. I will hold it sideways so you guys can see. This shade up here called Salt is one of the best inner corner highlights that I have ever used. I wish they'd bring this out in a single, but the colors are absolutely stunning, and this is a gorgeous summer palette. I have got so much use out of this palette. It's just really, really nice. The next palette I have here is from Too Faced, and this is the Natural Eyes Palette. I don't get a lot of use out of this just because I feel like the colors are so boring, and I really like to play and experiment with color and stuff, but this is what it looks like. The packaging is really gorgeous, and again, I'm trying not to get me in it, and it is kind of blinding, but this is what it looks like on the inside. It's just pretty basic in my opinion. The next palette I have here is from Kim's Line, and this is really, really pretty. This is called the So Fire Palette. This has such a unique formula in my opinion, so I will go ahead and open this up you guys so you can get a look really really pretty i love the formula of this and i have talked about this on my channel these metallic shades almost feel wet really really pretty and i highly recommend this palette the next palette i have here is from anastasia in norvina this is the pro palette one and here is what it looks like on the inside really really pretty and then this is the second one really really pretty and if you're into bold colors i don't feel like you'd be disappointed with this at all and this one is the third. This is really, really pretty. This is a really pretty fall palette. And this is what it looks like on the inside. Really, really pretty. The next palette I have here is from Natasha Denona. And this is the Star Palette. Absolutely stunning. I really do enjoy this palette. I picked this one up in New York. And this is what it looks like. Really, really pretty. And if you're into cool tones, I feel like you'd really love this. I feel like people are leaning more toward cool tones nowadays. You see a lot more cool tone palettes coming out than you used to. So really, really pretty. This is definitely one of my favorites. The next palette I have is also from Natasha Denona, and this is the Leela or Lila palette. And this is what it looks like on the inside. Really, really pretty. The next palette from Natasha Denona I have is the Sunset palette. And this is what it looks like on the inside. Absolutely stunning. I remember when this first came out, everybody lost their minds over it. And it is really and truly one of the prettiest warm tone palettes ever. The next palette from Natasha Denona I have is the Gold palette. And this is what it looks like on the inside. This palette is absolutely stunning. I know they have some digs for this palette, but the color story is just really, really pretty. Definitely one of my favorites. The next palette I have here from Natasha Denona is the Safari palette, and this palette is all full of mattes. And this is what it looks like. This palette is not showing true on camera, but really, really pretty. Like, this is a blue shade, but it's showing too dark, I feel like, on camera, but really, really pretty nonetheless. These are looking so much darker. I don't know what the deal is, but really, really pretty matte. The next palette from Natasha Denona I have here is the Tropic palette, and this is what it looks like on the inside. Really, really pretty. I feel like the mattes in here are a little bit too light. I feel like they should have had some deeper shades in here. The next palette I have here is from Morphe, and this is the 35M Boss Mood palette, and this is what it looks like. This color story is absolutely stunning. This is probably one of my favorites from Morphe as well. The next palette I have here is also from Morphe, and this is the 35V. I'm pretty sure it's called Stunning Vibes. This is absolutely stunning as well. I love this color story. I feel like the colors in here just go really well together. Absolutely stunning. This is definitely one of my favorites as well. The next palette I have here is from Too Faced, and this is the Natural Lust palette. I know people were finding this at Marshalls and TJ Maxx, if I'm not mistaken. This palette is absolutely stunning. I hope you guys can tell on camera, but this is definitely beautiful. This is definitely one that I need to pull out more and start using. I love tones like this. I know that the quality on this isn't the best. I hope you guys can really see the colors, but I feel like the colors are like not showing true to color, but I'm just going to keep on going anyway. The next palette I have here is from Too Faced, and this is the Beauty Daydreamer palette. This was a holiday release, so this is what the packaging looks like. And then when you open it up, this is what you have going on. It opens up like sideways, and then this is the colors. You have a bronzer, a highlighter, and two blushes. And this one was actually really nice. I like the quality of this palette pretty well. The next palette I have here is also from Too Faced, and this is the Pretty Mess palette with Erica Jane. This palette, I feel like you can also get at Marshalls or TJ Maxx, but this is what the packaging looks like, and this is what it looks like. I know it's blinding you guys, but this really reminds me of Modern Renaissance. The next palette I have here is from Tarte, and this is the Tardis Pro palette. I have got so much use out of this palette. This is definitely one of my favorites as well. 
I normally don't get along with Tarte when it comes to some of their palettes, but this was a big hit for me. The mattes in here blend out so well, and the metallic shades are so nice as well. I've done so many pretty looks with this palette, so this is definitely one of my favorites. The next palette I have here is from Tarte, and this is the Tardis Pro Remix. Now, though people was getting this in their Boxy Charm, I bought it when it first came out, and I did pay full price for it. This is really, really pretty, and again, it does have the same formula as the first, and again, that first one is my favorite. I will go ahead and open this up and give you guys a quick glance. So this is what it looks like. It's absolutely stunning, and this is more colorful for Tarte. The next palette I have here is also from Tarte, and this is the Love, Trust, and Fairy Dust palette. Really, really pretty. And then when you open it up, this is what you have going on. Really, really pretty shades, and this is a good everyday palette. The next palette I have from Tarte is the Make Believe in Yourself palette, and this is absolutely stunning. I've got so much use out of this palette, and I wish that this palette wasn't limited edition because this is truly one of the best palettes. I used some of the shades on my wedding day, so really, really pretty. I paired it with the Jaclyn Hill palette, and this is what it looks like on the inside. Really, really pretty. I remember when this first came out, I went straight to Ulta and picked this up. I love the color story, and the formula is really, really nice. The next palette I have here is also from Tarte, and this is the BU Naturally palette. I actually got this in a boxy charm. The packaging is really, really cute, and the colors are just really neutral and basic, and I feel like it's a really cute palette, especially if you don't have a lot of eyeshadows. This was really nice to get in boxy charm. The next palette I have here is from Urban Decay, and this is the Moon Dust palette. These are really, really pretty. This has actually inspired me to pick this out and use it some more because these colors are really, really pretty as toppers or just on the lid. Really, really pretty. The next palette I have here is from Makeup Revolution, and this is the Once palette with Emily Noel. I wasn't a fan of this palette, but I will go ahead and show you guys since I have it. This is what the colors look like on the inside. Again, I don't know if my camera is showing true to color with well, my phone anyway, but this is what it looks like. The next palette I have is also from Emily Noel and Makeup Revolution, and this is the Needs palette. Again, I'm not too crazy over this palette, but I will show you since I have it. And this is what it looks like on the inside. The next palette I have here is from Jeffree Star, and this is the Jawbreaker palette. Seriously, one of my favorites. I love the color story, and the formula in this is really top-notch. Absolutely stunning. I've talked about this in many of my videos before, but this is what the outer packaging looks like. And I will open it up just in case you guys haven't seen it and give you guys a glance, which I'm sure that you have seen. It. This is what it looks like. The color story is just absolutely stunning. And that matte purple right here works so well. And it's really, really rare because it's a pastel purple. And the formula is just absolutely amazing. The next palette that I have here is from NYX. And this is the Swear By It palette. I paid full price for this. And this was pretty expensive for NYX. It was like $35, I'm pretty sure. But I went ahead and opened it up so you guys can get a better look at the colors. I will say that this is an improved formula from NYX. The next palette I have here is from Too Faced, and this is the Dream Queen palette. A lot of people was finding this at Nordstrom. This was a holiday release, and this is what it looks like. You have a lot of eyeshadows. You have some blushes, a bronzer, and a highlighter, and I hope you guys can see it. I was trying to get it all in at one time, but this is what the colors look like. These are actually really, really pretty. I wish you guys could really see the colors in person because they look so much better. That's with all these palettes. They look so much better in person than what they're showing like on camera. The next palette I have here is from Too Faced, and this is one of those dollhouse palettes. This is an outer palette, but I will go ahead and show you guys. This is what it looks like on the inside. The next palette that I have here is from Beauty Bakery, and this is the Game of Cones palette. Really, really cute. And then this is what you have going on on the inside. Really, really pretty shades. The next palette that I have here is from a brand called Luminous, I'm pretty sure. And this was a collab with Sir John. That is Beyonce's makeup artist. This is the Lion King collection. And again, this is the eyeshadow palette. This is what the palette looks like. Really, really pretty. I had a very good experience with this palette. They were so soft and really easy to blend. I will go ahead and get these out of the way because I feel like they're really boring. I have the Lorac Pro and the Lorac Pro 2 palette. So this is what they look like. I know you guys have probably seen them, but I'll give you guys a quick glance. So this is what they look like. That is the first one at the top, and this one is the second one at the bottom. The first one is more warm tone, and the second one is all cool tones. The next palette that I have here is from Pure, and this is the Barbie Collection palette. And then when you open it up, this is what you have going on. I absolutely love this pink right here. Really, really pretty. And the formula worked out pretty nice for me as well. This was just such a cute collection. The next palette that I have here is from Urban Decay, and this is the Elements palette. This was a holiday release. And this is what the shades look like. Absolutely stunning. I really do enjoy this palette. I moved the camera around a little bit because my legs hurt, and so I hope that doesn't bother you. I know you can see my leg over here. But the next palette that I have here is from Urban Decay, and this is the Kristen Leanne palette. 
absolutely stunning. When this came out, I bought it immediately. I love these bright, bold shades, and the formula on this is really, really nice. And this is what it looks like on the inside. Absolutely stunning. Really, really pretty palette. I know a lot of people didn't like the shapes in here like that, but I actually liked it. And again, the formula and colors are absolutely amazing. These are very intense. The next palette I have here is from Urban Decay, and this is the Travel Baker palette. I know a lot of people was actually finding this. I'm pretty sure it was at Nordstrom. And this is what the inside looks like. Really, really pretty. This is a really pretty, like, grungy palette. The next palette I have here is from Tarte, and this is the Tarte Lip Toasted palette. This is a warm tone palette with shimmers and mattes. Really, really pretty. And this is what it looks like on the inside. Again, a really pretty warm tone palette. I actually got along with this palette pretty well. The next palette that I have here is from Jeffree Star, and this is the Mini Jawbreaker palette. Absolutely stunning. Again, that formula is amazing, and the colors are really, really pretty. And this is what the shades look like. Absolutely stunning. The next palette I have here is from Dominique Cosmetics, and this is the Latte Palette. This is the first Latte Palette, and then this is what it looks like on the inside. These metallic shades are absolutely stunning, and the mattes blend out pretty well for me as well. This is a really pretty fall palette. The next palette I have here is from Urban Decay, and this is the Born to Run palette. I didn't get along with this palette at all whatsoever. The formula just wasn't there for me, and this palette actually ended up going on sale, but I unfortunately paid full price for it, so I will go ahead and open it and give you guys a quick glance. This is what the colors look like. I just didn't get along with it whatsoever. The next palette I have here is from Pure, and this is the Love Your Selfie 2 palette. This actually has lip products and other things in it as well. This is what it looks like on the inside. This is okay. The formula isn't bad. I just never grabbed for this. I picked this up from Marshalls, and I feel like that's the only reason that I bought it. I got it for like $12.99, and I'm pretty sure this retailed for like $40 something dollars, so that's the only reason that I picked it up. The packaging is pretty, but it is really bulky, but again, the formula is not bad. It's just I picked it up because of that very reason. I got it for a good deal. The next palette that I have here is from BH Cosmetics, and this is the Shane XO, the Remix palette. So you open it up, and then it has all these shadows here in the front. You have nine shadows, and then on the other side, you also have nine more eyeshadows. And when she first released this, she had like a side that was eyeshadows and another side that was lip products. And I never did pick that one up, but this was the remix. So she redone it. So really, really cute. The next palette I have here is from Lime Crime, and this is the Venus 3. I almost decluttered this palette, but then I thought that the color story was really pretty. So I decided to keep it because I thought I might get some use out of it. So this is what it looks like. The colors are just absolutely stunning. And this is the only Lime Crime palette in this size that I do own. The next palette I have is from Tarte, and this is the Sizzle Eyeshadow Palette. Really, really cute packaging, and this is what it looks like on the inside. Really, really pretty shades. The next palette I have here is from Tarte, and this is the Mermaid Palette. Now, my shades are kindly, probably not where they're supposed to be. I kindly guess I accidentally dropped this palette, and I had to put the shades back in them. But they are magnetic, and they do just click back in, but this is what it looks like. Again, some of the shades might be misplaced. The next palette I have here is from Tarte, and this is called the Foil Finger Paints Palette. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's really similar to the Pure Palette. I always said that Pure Copy Tarte because here's the Tarte one, and then here is the Pure one. It looks exactly the same. And this is what it looks like on the inside. Absolutely stunning. I know you guys can see my phone, but I can't help it because that mirrored packaging. There's a lot of mirrored packaging on these palettes, but it's really, really pretty. The next palette I have here is from NYX, and this is the Phoenix Palette. I opened it up so you guys could see the colors better, but this is really, really pretty. The next palette I have here is from Colourpop. This is with makeup by Shayla, and this is the Perception palette. This is a dupe for the Born to Run palette from Urban Decay, except this palette has a much better formula. Really, really nice. And this is what the colors look like on the inside. Absolutely stunning. The next palette I have is also from Colourpop, and this is the Through My Eyes. This is with I Love Syrup. I never can say her name, guys. But this is a really, really pretty palette, and this is what the colors look like. Absolutely stunning. This will be really pretty in the summer as well. This is the Fang palette from Colourpop. Really, really pretty. This is a cool tone palette, and this is what the shades look like on the inside. And then this is the Fortune palette with Colourpop. This is really warm toned. And this is what the colors look like on the inside. I love shades like this. And I feel like it looks really pretty with like boom, boom, boom in the crease and that. Really, really pretty. The next palette I have from Colourpop is the Double Entendre palette. This is a dupe for the Tarte Toasted palette. Really basic, neutral palette, warm tone palette. This is the Kathleen Light Dream Street palette. Really, really pretty. And I have got a lot of use out of this palette. Really, really pretty. This is the Give It To Me Straight palette. And this is what it looks like on the inside. This is the Yes Please palette. This is a warm tone palette. Really, really pretty. This is the Femme Rosa palette. 
And this is what it looks like on the inside. This is the Zodiac palette with Kathleen Lights. And this is what it looks like on the inside. Absolutely stunning. This is an older ColourPop palette. This is the Element of Surprise. And this is what it looks like on the inside. This is the You Had Me At Hello palette. And this is what it looks like on the inside. This is the Good Sport palette. And this is what it looks like on the inside. This is the Butter Me Up palette, and this is what it looks like on the inside. This is another one of those palettes from ColourPop, and this one is called A Flutter. And this is what it looks like on the inside. Absolutely stunning. The next one I have is called Gimme Butterflies. Really, really cute packaging. I love the packaging on these. All ColourPop palettes have really cute packaging. And then this is what it looks like on the inside. Absolutely gorgeous. This one was a collab with Becky G, I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong on that, but I can't pronounce the name of this. But this is what it looks like. Really cute packaging. And this is what it looks like on the inside. Really pretty color story. The next one I have here is the Rendezvous palette. Really, really cute. And I really do love the color story of this one as well. The next one I have is called It's a Princess Thing. This has the prettiest packaging, I swear you guys. Really, really cute, especially if you are a Disney fan. And then this is what the colors look like on the inside. This is a really pretty everyday palette. The next palette here is the Villains Misunderstood palette. Really, really pretty packaging. I think it's really cool. And this is what it looks like on the inside. I need to pull this out and use it some more. Really, really pretty. The next palette I have here is the Chasing Rainbows palette. And again, all these palettes are from ColourPop. I don't feel the need to say it because I know you guys know. But again, this is the Chasing Rainbows palette. And this is what it looks like on the inside. Really, really pretty. The colors aren't showing that true, I don't feel like. But take my word for it. Really, really pretty. The next one I have is the It's My Pleasure palette. Absolutely stunning. The mattes in here blend out so well. And the metallic shades are really, really pretty. I love this palette. The next one I have here is the Ooh La La palette. I have got so much use out of this palette. Really, really pretty if you love pinks. And this is what it looks like. Absolutely stunning. The next palette I have here is the Soul palette. This is the one in the older packaging. I actually just used this palette here recently. And this is what it looks like on the inside. Really, really pretty shades. This is really pretty for the summer. And this is the Mar palette, again, in the outer packaging. And this is what it looks like on the inside. Really, really pretty. And again, this will be really pretty for the summer. So this is from Milani, and this is the Pure Passion palette. Really, really pretty. I have got so much use out of this. And sorry that it's blinding you guys and you can see my lights and my phone. This is what it looks like on the inside. Really Really, really pretty and such a good formula for the drugstore. I also have the Main Squeeze palette from ColourPop. Really, really pretty. And this is what it looks like on the inside. This is the Brown Sugar palette from ColourPop. Really, really pretty. I did a really pretty look with this and I absolutely loved it. The next palette I have is from Morphe and this is the 9C palette. I love this palette. I actually have two of these. And this is what it looks like on the inside. Such a gorgeous color story and I've got so much use out of this. I have made some really pretty looks with this palette. And this is the other one if you guys are curious. This one hasn't been touched. The next palette I have here from Morphe is the 9N. Really, really pretty. This is really different, I feel like. And this is what it looks like on the inside. The next palette I have here is from Huda Beauty. And this is the Neon Pink palette. Really, really pretty. And I really do like the packaging of these. And this is what it looks like on the inside. Absolutely stunning. I love doing like neutral looks and then popping this on the inner corner. And I just love using all these shades together. Absolutely stunning. This is the Huda Beauty Gemstone Obsessions palette. And this is what it looks like on the inside. This is the Huda Beauty Coral Obsessions palette. And this is what it looks like on the inside. This is the Warm Brown Obsessions palette from Huda. And this is what it looks like on the inside. I'm sure you guys have seen these. This is the MAC Aladdin palette. And this is what it looks like on the inside. Really, really pretty. This is another palette from MAC. This is of that Bloom collection. And this is what it looks like on the inside. Really, really pretty. This is the Huda Beauty Topaz Obsessions palette. And this is what it looks like on the inside. This is from Bobbi Brown. And this is the Molten Drama palette. And this is what it looks like on the inside. Really pretty topper shades. I'm not going to open these up because I'm sure you guys have seen, but these are the Patrick Star like quads from MAC. There's more of a neutral tone one, and then there's another one that's more burgundy and like a pretty gold in it. Really, really pretty. I just don't feel like taking them out of these. This is the Huda Beauty Mob Obsessions palette, and this is what it looks like on the inside. Absolutely stunning. This is a Dose of Colors palette with that girl that I can't say her name that had the um, the ColourPop palette, but really, really pretty. And this is what it looks like on the inside. I've got a lot of use out of this. Really, really pretty. This formula is so nice. This is a nice little travel palette from Tarte. This is the Flirt palette. And this is what it looks like. Really, really nice. I really do like the look that I create with this. This is one of the Viseart 
Pro Palettes, like the Petite Pro Palettes. And this is what it looks like, and this is a number five if you are curious. And this is another one of those Visi Art Palettes in number four. And this is what it looks like, it's more peachy. The next palette I have here is from Better London, and we actually received this in a boxy charm. And this is what it looks like on the inside. The next palette I have here is from Violet Boss, and this is the Essentials palette. We actually received this in boxy charm as well. And this is what it looks like on the inside. The next palette I have here is from Kristen Leanne, and this is her little neutral palette that she came out with in her collection. And this is what it looks like on the inside. The next palette I have here is from Tarte, and this is just a little travel palette. It has some eyeshadows in it and a blush, and this is what it looks like on the inside. The next palette I have here is from Urban Decay, and this is the Naked Petite Heat Palette. And this is what it looks like. These are all mattes, except I feel like this one has a little bit of a sheen to it. I will go ahead and show this. I have this little Maybelline City Mini Palette. I actually love this one. I decluttered the rest of them, but this one is called Downtown Sunrise, and it really is pretty. I love the formula of this little palette, and this is what it looks like on the inside. I actually got a really pretty look with this palette. The next palette I have here is from NYX, and this is the Sugar High Palette, and this is what it looks like on the inside. I think these colors are absolutely stunning, and I love these like shimmer metallic shades here at the bottom. The next palettes I have here are from ColourPop. So I have the Wet Palette and the Lit Palette. I'm not going to open these up. I just don't feel like it. My back's killing me here on the floor. But I do have the Warm Tone one and the Cool Tone like Blue Palette. These are the only ones that he came out with. I just wanted to mention these. These are really pretty though. The next palette I have here is from Kevin Aquan. And this is the Electro Pop Palette. And this is what it looks like on the inside. I really need to pull this out and use it. The next palette I have here is from Makeup Revolution, and this is the Fierce as Fire palette. This is so underrated, and I actually got this for free. The shades in here are absolutely stunning, and they're so pigmented, and just, these are just so nice, you guys. If you see this palette, I highly recommend it. These are so intense, and you would think with this price that it wouldn't really be that great, but it actually is, and especially because they give it to me, you know, you think they're just trying to get rid of them, but this is absolutely amazing, and again, if you can find this, I highly recommend it. The next palette I have here is from Anastasia, and this is an older palette. This is the Lavish palette, and it actually slides out like this. These are really pretty colors, and I wish that they would bring this back. This is one of my favorites from Anastasia. The formula is really nice, and the colors are so pretty, and I got a lot of pretty looks with this palette as well. The next palette I have here is from The Rock, and this was like their Los Angeles collection or something. This is so pretty, and I've got so much use out of this. Absolutely stunning. I love this, and I wish that they would bring it back. This shade down here called Kitty Cat is absolutely stunning. It's so intense. It's like a bronzy taupe shade, and I used to wear that on my lids all the time. The next one I have here is from Kat Von D, and this is the Shade and Eye Palette. This is what it looks like on the inside. I absolutely love these mattes, and again, I hate that Kat Von D is no longer a thing. The next palette that I have here is from Too Faced, and this is the Sparkling Pineapple Palette, and this is what it looks like on the inside. Absolutely stunning. This formula is so amazing, you guys. And I think people are finding this at like Marshalls and stuff. So if you can find this, definitely pick it up at a discount. I also have the Razzle Dazzle eyeshadow palette. And again, if you can find this, definitely pick it up. The formula on this is so amazing. And this is what it looks like on the inside. Really, really pretty. The next palette I have here is from Crown. And this is one that I had received in BoxyCharm a while back. And this is just a warm toned eyeshadow palette. The formula on this is actually really nice. The next palette I have here is the Pretty Vulgar Nightingale Palette. I actually received this in a boxy charm as well. The formula is really nice on this, but the colors just aren't my thing. And a lot of these palettes have been discounted here lately, and people are finding them at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. And Sephora actually had dropped a price on them as well at one time. The next palette I have here is from Makeup Revolution, and this is the Self Palette. This is the Extra Spice Palette, that's what it's called. And this is what it looks like on the inside. Really, really pretty, but not my favorite formula. I also have her first palette with Makeup Revolution, and this formula I liked a whole lot better than the last. And this is what it looks like. Really, really pretty. The next palette I have here is from Dose of Colors, and this is with Daisy and Katie. And this is the Friendcation palette. I love this palette. It's absolutely stunning. And then this is what it looks like on the inside. Really, really pretty. The next palette that I have here is from Urban Decay, and this is with that artist that I can't pronounce his name. I've got such pretty looks with this palette. This is the more colorful palette. Really, really pretty. And this is the other one that they came out with. I'm trying to hold it down so you guys can see it. I actually picked this one up on sale. 
And I did pick this up from Ulta, if you guys are curious, but they don't make this collection anymore. I know you guys can see my foot over there. It's going numb. But the next one I have here is from Anastasia Beverly Hills, and this is the Artist Palette. And this is what it looks like on the inside. I used to get a lot of use out of this palette at one time. The next little palette I have here is from Wet n Wild, and this is the newer version of the Comfort Zone Palette. I know you guys have probably seen this. This is what it looks like. It's really, really pretty. They were known for this shade right here because it was like a matte blue-brown. And then they added these two transition shades one here at the top and one here at the bottom. The next palette I have here is from Too Faced, and this is the Hot Buttered Rum Palette. They came out with this during the holidays, the previous holidays, and this is what it looks like on the inside. Really, really cute. I think I did a video on this, or maybe I didn't. I think I did a video on the Extra Spicy Palette, but really, really cute nonetheless. The next palette that I have here is the new Norvina Mini Pro 3 palette. I will go ahead and get this out of the box and open it up for you guys. This is what the packaging looks like. It's really, really cute. I feel like that's what drawn me to this palette. And this is what it looks like on the inside. Really, really fun. This is really different. And I can't wait to see what I come up with with this palette. The next little palette I have here is actually something that attaches to a bigger Too Faced palette. This is the little door. When you open it up, this has the pressed glitters and two mattes in it. I will show you the rest of that palette when I get to it. Same thing with this. This is the eyeshadow palette from Too Faced, but it's like the bottom of a snowman. And it has two more parts to it, but I will show you the rest of that when I get to it. But this is the eyeshadow part. But this is the eyeshadow part, and this is what it looks like. Really pretty. The next palette I have here is from Juvia's Place, and this is the Saharan 2 palette. And this is what it looks like on the inside. Absolutely stunning. The next palette I have here is the Warrior 3 palette, and this is what it looks like. This one is actually newer to me in my collection. The next palette I have here is the Festival by Juvia's, and this is what it looks like on the inside. The next palette that I have here is the Warrior, and this is what it looks like on the inside. A really pretty neutral palette. The next palette that I have here is the Tribe, and this is what it looks like on the inside. This is such a unique color story. The next palette that I have here is the Deuce, and this is what it looks like on the inside. The next one I have here is the Zulu palette, and this is what it looks like on the inside. The next one that I have here is the Saharan palette, and this is what it looks like on the inside. I have actually got a lot of use out of this palette. The next palette that I have here is from Smashbox, and this is the little cover shop palette called Pinks and Palms. And this is what it looks like on the inside. I'm not really a fan of these Smashbox cover shop palettes, but I do own a lot of them, so I will show you guys all of them. Another one of those cover shop palettes called Ultra Violet, and this is what it looks like on the inside. I actually really do love this color story. Then I'm just going to go ahead and put this down here and show you guys. This is a Smashbox vault that I paid my own money with. I didn't get this sent in PR or anything. When you open it up, you have you have nine of these cover shop palettes in here. I'm not going to go through each and every one of them. I've done a video here on my channel if you guys want to check that video out. But I'm not going to go through all of these because I have opened every one of these on my channel before. I pretty much have most of these palettes, you guys. But this is the vault. These are the ones that come in the vault. I showed you those other two. This is what it is. This is what it looks like on the inside. What I have here is for BH Cosmetics. And this is the Galaxy Chic Palette. And these are all baked eyeshadows. This used to be like a thing back in the day on YouTube. The next thing that I have here is from Kylie Cosmetics. And this is the Sipping Pretty Palette. And this is what it looks like on the inside. I have done a video here on my channel using this palette if you guys want to check that out. But overall, I thought it was okay. I didn't think it was worth the price tag. I paid like $60 for it, I'm pretty sure. And the day that I bought it, the very next day, it actually went on sale. So... That's my look, but again, I do have a video here on my channel if you guys want to check that out. I wasn't that impressed with it, but I do have it. The next palette I have here is from Huda Beauty, and this is the Desert Dust Palette. And this is what the shadows look absolutely stunning. And I always do keep these like little thingies to go over it because I feel like they're really pretty. The next palette that I have here is from Nobla Cosmetics, and this is the Poison Garden Palette. And this is what the shadows look like. Absolutely stunning. The next palette I have from Nobla is the Secret Palette, and I love the packaging on these. These are just really pretty palettes to look at. And then this is what it looks like on the inside. I have this set from Too Faced, and it's like these little holiday palettes. This is the Eggnog Palette, so it comes with six eyeshadows and a blush. The next one is the Gingerbread Cookie Palette, and on the inside it comes with six eyeshadows and a bronzer. And again, you guys, these palettes did come in a set. But the last one in the set is called the Peppermint Mocha Palette. And it comes with six eyeshadows and a blush. Again, really, really cute packaging for the holidays. 
This is another old Too Faced palette from the holidays. This was another doll set palette. And this is what it looks like on the inside. This is another Too Faced Christmas palette. This is the Christmas in New York palette. And I love the packaging. If you guys have been here on my channel for a while, then you know that I love New York. New York is my place. And if I could be there now, that's where I'd be. This is what the palette looks like. It's absolutely stunning. I love the packaging on it. And then when you open it up, this is what you got going on. This palette is more cooler, I would say. The next palette I have here is from Too Faced. And this is the Candy Johnson collab. And this is what it looks like on the inside. It's made to look like a box of candy. Absolutely stunning. This is the cutest thing ever. And the colors in here are so nice. The formula is really, really nice. I just love what she done with this palette. The metallics in here are so pretty. And they're made like quads. Like you can use like quad, quad, quad. Or you can mix and match. That's what I tend to do. I like to mix and match. But... The colors in here are absolutely stunning, and I just love the shades in here. I feel like they're really, really unique. The next palette I have here is from Too Faced, and this is the original chocolate bar palette. And this is what you have going on on the inside. The next palette from Too Faced is the Semi-Sweet Chocolates palette, and this is what it looks like on the inside. The next palette that I have here is the Chocolate Bonbons palette. And if you guys are curious of these older 10 packaging palettes from Too Faced, I'm sure you can find these at like discounted prices at Marshalls and stuff. I feel like they're eventually going to discontinue these, but they are on sale. Don't pay full price for these now. I pay full price for all of these because it was like when they first came out. But again, anyways, this is the Chocolate Bonbons palette. And this is what it looks like on the inside. Then I have the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. And this is what it looks like on the inside. This is such a good palette, and I hate that you can't get your hands on this palette anymore, but this is absolutely amazing. I have done so many pretty looks with this palette. I actually picked this palette up when I was working at Ulta. I hadn't been there that long. This is the Too Faced Clover palette, and this is what it looks like on the inside. This is absolutely stunning. The next palette from Too Faced I have here is the Gingerbread Spice palette, and this is what it looks like on the inside. Really, really pretty. The next palette I have here from Too Faced is the Gingerbread Extra Spicy Palette. And this is what it looks like on the inside. Really, really pretty. And I do have a tutorial using this palette here on my channel. The next palette I have here is the Chocolate Gold Palette from Too Faced. This is such an amazing palette. The metallics in here are so intense, so pretty. And my husband actually got this palette for me. So, so it actually holds a special place in my heart. I love this palette. It really is amazing. And I don't feel like this palette gets enough hype, but this is what it looks like. And I love how this is set up. So you have these really intense metallics like everywhere. And then you have these mats here in the corner. And these are literally all the mats that you need. I like to take this and put it in the crease, smoke it out with a little black, and then go in with one of these shades. This above the brow bone, you can set your whole lid with this. It's absolutely stunning. You can see me, so. I have literally got so much use out of this palette. Then I also have the other palette. I showed you the last one before not too long ago, but this is the Too Faced Natural Matte Palette. Again, I never use this because I feel like it's just boring. But this is what it looks like on the inside. The packaging is beautiful, though. I have some older Too Faced palettes as well. This is like the Love Palette. And this is what it looks like on the inside. I did not like the quality of this palette whatsoever. And then I also have the Too Faced The Return of Sexy Palette. This one wasn't that bad, but it wasn't that great either. And this is what it looks like on the inside. I actually just hauled this little palette not too long ago, but these are like pressed glitters from Hard Candy, and this is really, really nice. They worked out so well for me, so love this, and I actually picked this up from Walmart. Again, you guys, if you're new to pressed glitters, these are actually really nice, and they're really pigmented as well. The next palette I have here is from Kat Von D, and this is the Serpentina palette. Again, I hate that they just booted Kat Von D out, because if that's the case, you need to boot everybody out, because everybody's into that drama, and they do things that they just shouldn't do, but anyways, this is just me being honest. Nobody's canceling Jeffree Star for what he did. Nobody's canceling Too Faced for what they do. So they shouldn't have canceled Kat Von D. That's just my opinion. But this is the Serpentina palette. And this is absolutely stunning. I knew when this palette came out that I had to have it. Really, really pretty colors. Absolutely stunning. The next palette that I have here is the original Urban Decay Naked palette. And again, you guys know what this looks like. I showed you guys the cherry palette earlier, but I should have done them all in like by brand or something, but this is so unorganized. But this is the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette, and this is what it looks like on the inside. Really, really pretty. This is the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette, and this is what it looks like on the inside. This is the Urban Decay Smoky palette, and this is what it looks like on the inside. They actually discontinued this palette, which I don't know why, because the quality was really nice on this palette. Then I have the Naked Heat palette. This is one of my favorites. I've actually used this in a video here on my channel. And then this is what it looks like on the inside. I have this old Anastasia palette. This is the Self Made palette. And this is what it looks like on the inside. Again, I love pink champagne. I hit pan on the other older palette that I had from them. I just really love this palette. I used to get like a ton of use out of it. 
This is the Urban Decay Naked Honey Palette, and this is what it looks like on the inside. Really, really pretty. I showed you guys earlier the door that like goes onto this palette. It had the four Faced glitters and two mattes in it, but this is like the like the house part of it. This is a Too Faced Holiday Palette, and this is what it looks like. And this is what the packaging looks like. They're really cute with their packaging. Absolutely stunning, and I really do like the shades in here. I feel like the eyeshadows are very similar to the Natural Lust palette. And this shade right here is absolutely stunning, you guys. I hope you guys can see that. You can't see that. But it's really, really pretty. And I feel like this was one of the better Too Faced holiday palettes that I have seen. So, really, really pretty. The next palette that I have here is the Sultry palette from Anastasia. And this is what it looks like on the inside. Really, really pretty. The next one I have is the Riviera palette, and I don't get a lot of use out of this one. The colors are pretty, but they don't really speak to me. But this is what it looks like on the inside, and this shade was actually dropped. The next palette I have here is from Be Perfect Cosmetics, and this is the Carnival palette with Stacey Marie. This palette is absolutely stunning. So you have two highlighters over here that you can use as eyeshadows, and then you have all these eyeshadows. And it's not showing how like bright and pigmented they are on my phone, but these are absolutely stunning. Stunning. This pink is a lot more bold on my phone. Really, really pretty. The next palette that I have here is from Tarte, and this is the Swamp Queen palette with Graveyard Girl. And this is what it looks like. It's really, really pretty. I used to get a ton of use out of this palette. Really, really pretty. And the highlighter in here is gorgeous. The next palettes I have here are from Urban Decay. I actually wasn't into makeup at this time, so I ordered these off of eBay a long time ago and paid nearly $300 for both of these. But this is the Wizard of Oz collection, so this is the first one. And this is what it looks like on the inside. And then here is the other one. Really, really pretty. And I needed these palettes, but they were super expensive. If I'd have known, and I would have been into makeup at that time, I wouldn't have had to pay $300. And this is what the inside looks like. The next palette that I have here is from Too Faced, and this is the Pretty Rich palette, and this is what it looks like on the inside. The next one I have here is from Lime Crime, and this is the Venus XL palette. This is what it looks like on the inside. The palette looks really, really pretty. I just didn't get along with the formula that well, but I feel like I need to keep trying this again because I really do love the colors. It looks really pretty. The next one I have here is a holiday set, and this is the Wake Up Makeup Repeat, and it comes in this little zip thing. I will go ahead and open it up for you guys, and it's the Best Year Ever 2018 palette, and this is what it looks like on the inside. The next palette that I have here is from Tarte, and this is the High Tides and Good Vibes palette. And this is what the palette looks like on the inside. Really, really pretty. This is going to be really pretty for the spring and summer. The next palette I have here is from Pure, and this is the Festival palette. I actually received this in a boxy charm, and it's chewed up because my dog got a hold of it. The shadows in it are fine, but the packaging is wrecked. But this is what it looks like on the inside. The next palette I have here is from BH Cosmetics, and this is the Weekend Festival palette. And this is what it looks like on the inside. Really, really pretty, and the formula is amazing. I have put this in a dupe video. This is a dupe for the Riviera palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. The next palette I have here is from Huda Beauty, and this is the Textured Shadows palette. This is the Rose Gold palette. This is the old edition, so I'm not going to go ahead and just open it up, but this is what it looks like. Again, this is the old version, and I used to get a lot of use out of this. I remember when I worked at Ulta, I used to wear this all the time. The next palette I have here is from Urban Decay, and this is one of their Vice palettes. And this is what it looks like on the inside. This is an old palette. The next one is also from Urban Decay, and this is the Vice 4 palette. And this is what it looks like on the inside. Really, really pretty. The next palette I have here is from BoxyCharm, and this was a collab with Pure. I actually didn't get this in BoxyCharm. I bought this off of Ulta and paid like $30-some for it. I think it was like $39 maybe, but that was ridiculous. The quality isn't that great. But this is what the palette looks like, and I honestly could have paid like $20-some for BoxyCharm and got this palette. But instead, I went and paid almost $40 bucks for it, and the quality is not that great. The next eyeshadow palette that I have here is from Urban Decay, and this is the Gwen Stefani palette. I also have the face palette to this, but we're not doing face palettes today. We're only doing eyeshadow palettes because it's going to take me long enough. But this is what it looks like on the inside. I felt like the quality just wasn't there with this palette. The next palette that I have here is a holiday palette, and this is that big pineapple palette from Tarte. So you have some blushes and a bronzer on this side, and then you have these eyeshadows on the other. The next palette I have here is from Too Faced, and this is the Lost the Festival palette. I paid full price for this palette, and I absolutely love it. It's so pretty, and I've got some really pretty looks with this. But if you're curious and you're into this palette and you want to pick it up, people have been finding this palette, I think, at like Marshalls and stuff, so definitely check around. But this is absolutely stunning. And this is what the inside of the palette looks like. It's just really, really pretty. These shadows are really nice quality. 
The next palette I have here is from Anastasia, and this is the Soft Glam Palette, and this is what it looks like on the inside. I also have the Carly Bible Palette, and the more that I played with this, I ended up not really liking it. The quality just isn't there for me, I don't feel like, but some of the shades are actually really, really pretty, but it wasn't worth picking up for just a few shades. I did a review, and I actually give a positive review, but after I kept playing with it some more, I realized I wasn't that into it. The next palette I have here is from Anastasia as well, and this is the Jackie Anna palette. This palette is absolutely stunning, and this is what it looks like. I've made some really pretty looks with this palette. This is absolutely gorgeous. This is probably one of my favorite palettes from Anastasia. This, the Modern Renaissance, and the Jackie Anna palette are my favorites, but this is completely destroyed, and I keep it because I still use it. But this is the Norvina palette, and I dropped it, and it crumbled, but I can still use it. It's fine. It's like, it's not to the point where I can't use it. This is absolutely stunning, and when I use this up, I will eventually get another one because this is one of my favorite Anastasia palettes. The Norvina palette the Modern Renaissance and the Jackie Anna are my favorite Anastasia palette. The next palette I have here is from Smashbox, and this is another cover shop palette. It's just a bigger one, and this is the LA Cover Shop palette, I'm pretty sure it's called. And this is what it looks like. You have some neutral quads, more warmer tone, a cool tone, and a colorful one. Again, I'm not really a fan of the Cover Shop eyeshadow palettes, but I do have this. And this palette did go on sale, and I'm pretty sure it's still on sale. The next palette I have here is amazing. This is the Urban Decay Electric Palette. These are pressed pigments. I don't understand why they got rid of this palette. This is one of the best. It will always stay in my collection. I've done so many pretty looks with this palette. This is what it looks like on the inside. Again, one of my favorites. I don't understand why they took this off, but really, really pretty. The next eyeshadow palette I have here is from NARS, and this is the Skin Deep Palette. And this is what it looks like on the inside. I have talked about this palette so many times. It's like contouring for the eyes. Really, really pretty. And again, if you've been here on my channel, then you know that I love NARS. NARS is my favorite brand ever. I hope I don't miss any eyeshadow palettes in this video. I'm trying my hardest, but if I do, I'll just do a part two. But absolutely stunning. If you can still get your hands on this, I highly recommend it. I love to use the metallic shades in here as a one shadow look. They look really pretty, and this is one that works for people that have more mature skin, I would say. Really, really pretty, because it doesn't emphasize like any creasing. If you have creasing in your eyes, it's just one of the best. The next one from North I have is the Ignited Palette. Again, one of my favorites. I love the color story and the formula is really unique. The metallic shades are like really pretty shiny toppers. And the mattes blend out so well. This is what it looks like. Really, really pretty. And if you can still get your hands on this, I highly recommend it. I talk about this palette all the time along with the next one I'm about to show you. But I talk about NARS all the time here on my channel. I just love the brand and the formula is really, really nice. I might have already showed you guys that palette that I was trying to find, but if I'm not, I will show it here soon. But the next palette I have here is from Too Faced, and this is the White Peach Palette. I didn't get along that well with this palette, but this is what it looks like on the inside. I feel like the tones and the mattes were just too light. I needed something darker, and this palette did go on sale multiple times, I'm pretty sure, and you can find this at like a Marshalls and stuff, so if you are into this palette and you were wanting it, I would definitely suggest going there first. The next palette I have here is from Too Faced, and this is the Just Peachy Mattes. I actually really like this palette. These blend out so well for me, and I have used this quite a bit, so I really did enjoy this palette from Too Faced. The next palette I have here is from NARS, and this is the Afterglow palette. Really, really pretty, and this is going to be really pretty in the summer with a tan. I have used this, even though it doesn't look like I have, and I got along with it really well. Again, NARS is my favorite brand, and I just really get along with their formula. The next palette I have here from NARS is the Inferno palette, and I actually picked this up during the holidays. Really, really pretty, and this is what it looks like on the inside. You do have two pressed glitters there at the bottom as well. Now, I have some palettes that I'm actually going to be speeding through because these are older, but this is the Too Faced Cat Eyes palette. This is what it looks like. And then I have this one right here. This is an older one. And this is what it looks like on the inside. This is a really older palette, but I can't pronounce the name. I never can say this right. And this is what it looks like on the inside. It's a cooler toned eyeshadow palette. Then I have the Natural Eyes palette. This is the older one. I do have the newer version as well. I think I already showed that one. But this is what it looks like on the inside. Then I have the Natural Matte. Again, I do have the newer version. I did show that already, but this is what the older version looks like. I love these little tin palettes. I wish they'd make these again, but they don't. Then I have this one, really, really cute, and this is what it looks like on the inside. I have the Rock and Roll one, and this is what it looks like on the inside. 
Then I have the Too Faced Peanut Butter and Honey Palette. And this is what it looks like on the inside. If I'm not mistaken, this was the last little tin palette like this that they came out with. And then I also have the Peanut Butter and Jelly Palette. And this is what it looks like on the inside. Really, really cute. This one is definitely my favorite. This is the Too Faced Totally Cute Palette. I have got so much use out of this palette. It's really, really pretty. And the quality of this is really nice. The looks that I created were just really, really pretty. So this is what it looks like on the inside. You have really nice, like matte shades for the crease and stuff and they all pretty much go with those colorful shades this was a really well curated palette then i have the sugar pop palette this is really really cute and this is what it looks like on the inside then i have the natasha denona aries 2 palette really really pretty this was a holiday release and then i have the natasha denona cranberry palette really really pretty and then i have the nars hyped palette this actually came out during the previous holidays and this is what it looks like really really pretty and this is the palette that I was looking for. I love this palette. I talk about this palette and the Ignited palette all the time here on my channel from Norris. But this is the Wanted palette. And this is what it looks like. I have got so much use out of this palette. Again, Norris has my heart. This formula is amazing and you can't go wrong with it. The mattes blend out so well. And the metallic shades are just really, really pretty. And some of them have a really unique formula. And then I have this limited edition NARS palette. This is another eyeshadow palette that was a holiday release at one point, and this is called the Glass Tears palette. And this is what it looks like on the inside. Again, you can't get your hands on this anymore, but it is really, really pretty, and I'm just a NARS collector. The next palettes I have here are from Flower Beauty, and this is the Sun Blazing palette. These palettes are really nice. They're such good quality, and they feel like high-end eyeshadows, and they're dupes for some high-end palettes, I feel like. I have put these palettes in a dupe video, but absolutely stunning. This is a dupe for the Sunset Palette from Natasha Denona. And this palette actually dupes quite a few palettes. So if you want to check that video out, it is up on my channel. Really, really pretty, and the quality is so nice. I'm telling you guys, you can't go wrong with these palettes. And then I also have the Sugar Rush Palette from Flower Beauty. And I have put this in a dupes video as well. This is seriously a dupe for the Ignited Palette from NARS. I just showed that not too long ago. I'm telling you guys, it's a straight on dupe for that palette. In case you don't go watch that video, this is a side by side comparison. So here is the NARS and this is the Sugar Rush. I'm telling you guys, they are identical. The next two palettes I have are from La Rock and this is the Unzipped Brazen Palette. I wasn't too much of a fan of these. These are okay, but they're not the best, but this is what it looks like. And then I also have the Unzipped Elegance Palette. And this one is more cool toned. Again, I wasn't that much of a fan of it. And then I have the Wizardry and Witchcraft. I feel like I'm saying that weird, but this is what it looks like. This is from Storybook Cosmetics. And this is what the eyeshadow palette looks like. It's really, really pretty. I also have the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory one. It has the Golden Ticket in there as well. But this is what the eyeshadows look like. These are really, really pretty. And then I have the burn book one. So this is what the packaging looks like. And this is what it looks like when you open it up. Really, really pretty colors. This is a really fun palette. And then I have hauled these here on my channel, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys really fast. This is the Frozen Collection from ColourPop and it comes with everything that they made with it. So this is what it looks like and this is the eyeshadow palette. And then here is the Anna one. And then this is what it looks like when you open up the palette. Really, really pretty. I just wanted to show you guys this really fast because I keep them in here. But other than that, that was everything. That is all the eyeshadow palettes that I currently have in my collection. My collection is always growing and I just wanted to make this video because I know a lot of people like to see these. I like to watch these. I tend to watch them all the time, especially at nighttime when I can't sleep. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I want to thank you guys so much for being here and watching and commenting and liking. It honestly makes the world and don't think that you go unnoticed because I truly see you and I truly do appreciate each and every one of you. But before you go, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell below so you're notified every time I upload a video. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.